Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth here today and so there's some Monster Legends guides video. I'm going to be telling you guys how to get as many monsters out of the bounty hunt as possible. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is pick a team. And this is going to be a team of three monsters. And you are going to want to pick two attackers and a sub port and your two attackers if you can have them with damage boost that would be much preferable but if not go ahead and try to get a support with damage boost but you will also want your support to have a negative effect removal if you don't have a support with these two things that is fine just go and swap another attacker in there and then once you pick your team of either three attackers or two attackers and a support you want to go and enter the bounty hunt and you'll be put on a grid and then once you are on that grid you will actually be able to click on the little shapes to flip them over and then whenever you flip over a shape you will either get a reward like cells food stuff like that or you'll get nothing or you'll actually find the bounty and an arrow will show up whenever you or somebody else on the grid clicks on a shape because if you didn't know you will be on that grid with other people and that arrow will point towards the bounty and then once somebody finds the bounty you can all start fighting it and you will want to do as much damage as possible which is of course why you are picking three attackers or two attackers and a support and you will all just keep fighting the bounty until it is defeated and the person that did the most damage will actually get more rewards out of it everyone will get rewards but the person who did the most damage will get more and you will get bounty coins you'll get cells and stuff like that and then once you're done you want to go ahead and go into the bounty shop and you can spend those bounty coins inside of the shop for monsters but you will most likely have to fight multiple bounties before you can actually get a monster and that is of course what you'll be doing next because it will put you on a new grid once you beat the bounty once and then you'll get to fight the bounty again and it'll just keep doing that over and over again whenever you beat the bounty so yeah you'll just just keep beating the bounty over and over again until you get as many coins as you need to get as many monsters as you want. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if this video is helpful for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Never to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.